let's start out with an informal greeting from me to you. What's happening? For starters, I have no idea if this is in focus or not. I was having a lot of trouble with the focus, so if I'm not, I want to apologize ahead of time for not being in focus. It's kind of been just troublesome with me, so I didn't want to deal with it. As you can tell by the tone of my voice, as you can tell by the title, this is not going to be a happy video by any means. I feel like it will be positive with a little tiny tone of negativity because we are speaking about death, but um, I think it's important that we talk about it. I don't even know where to start, but death is hard to deal with. It's never easy, and nobody said it was easy, but living through it and witnessing it firsthand, especially when it's a loved one, it's extremely hard. Now, I don't know if you've ever lost someone or not, or know somebody has lost a loved one, or even just a loss in general, no matter what it is. It doesn't even have to be a person or a pet, it could just be something you've lost. So I'm kind of here today to talk about that. The first time I had dealt with death was around the age of 10. One of my best friends growing up, her mother had passed away. Now that was the very first time that I had ever really honestly heard, thought, dealt with a part of death I had never known. I had, don't think I had ever gotten the talk from my parents. I was a kid. I didn't know much. I didn't. This is something you don't really think about. You say it, but you don't think about it because you know you don't know the gravitude of the situation. But that was the first time I encountered death. That was the only funeral I had gone to till five years ago. In December will be six years of my father's passing. That was tough. That was difficult. That was initially the very first time that death literally knocked at my door. And I say my door because it's my father. It was my dad. You know, it, it punched me in the gut pretty much. I mean, I don't even know why I wanted to make this video. I mean, I, I know towards the end why I do, but I don't, I don't even know what to say. I just know that it's tough. And, and apart from other losses in my life that don't have to do with death, but from that I learned so much. When somebody close to you passes or you lose something or something happens that's a tragedy and, or you consider it to be a tragedy in your life, you automatically see who's truly there for you, who has always been there for you, and who is or won't, or maybe somebody that was never there is finally there for you. People show their true colors, especially in a situation like that. And that was a moment for me to see who was there for me, who had been there for me, who was, who will, whatever I just said, all of that. It was a moment for me to actually see so much. It was an eye-opening experience. Sad, tragic, hurtful, painful, but also life-changing. I don't know, I mean, I, the whole reason why I'm making this video is because in the last in the last three years, I've dealt with a lot of death. The people that I care about, my best friends, family members, my, my girlfriend's family members, you know, my family. The, the people that I consider so close to my life, I've dealt with it. And the last, I want to say, from the last five to six years, throughout that time, I've dealt with death more than I have ever. I just, I don't even know, I'm like mind boggled. I just feel like... I don't want to get older. I don't want to get older. The older you get, the more you have to deal with things like this. But then again, it's life. We can't escape death. Anyways, the point I'm getting to is that in this last year alone, from January up until now, I've dealt with two losses in my own family. Most recently, the passing of my aunt, my tia, and um, yesterday, my other aunt, my tia. Uh, yeah. Today is September 20th. I don't know when you're going to see this. I don't know when I'm going to upload it. On September 19, my the, uh, my dad's sister passed away. I don't know. It's just sad. It's tough. It's just not easy and anybody who's lost somebody knows what I'm talking about. Last night I was laying in bed just thinking like, oh my gosh, my cousins and like the way that they must feel and having to go to bed knowing that somebody pa I just I just related to that feeling and it, and it was horrible. And even though it was my dad and my dad and I didn't, for those of you who know me or don't know me, my dad and I didn't have a very close, close relationship and it hurt me so bad that he was no longer here. Now I, I'm so much like him and it hurts even more because I realize that I am like my dad and you know, we're just so alike and everything that we felt was the same and, and so I realize these things and it's too late for that. I don't know, I just, it, yesterday was a reality check for me again. I wanted to make this video because I just realized over and over again that life goes on and it's so sad to think that we as humans have to deal with these feelings. We have to deal with the passing of somebody that we love. We have to say our last goodbyes. We have to go to funerals where everybody's crying. And one of my weaknesses, my biggest weakness is seeing people suffer. I can't stand that. I can't deal with that. It hurts. 
You know, it's something that we have to go through. We can't escape it. We have to deal with it sooner or later. Now, let me backtrack real quick. From my lat, my Thea, who passed away nearly two months ago, we had gone to give her our last goodbyes. She was pronounced brain dead, so she no longer, we no longer had a conversation. And it was tough. It's just crazy to know and see that life is really short, and one day you'll be here, the next day you won't. It's as simple as that. We can lose something from one day to the next, and we always have to be prepared. We always have to, you know, know that whatever happens, whatever comes our way, whatever's thrown at us, we will be able to get through. And that's why I'm sitting here right now telling you guys this opening up to you guys letting you guys know that in my heart I feel a giant hole sadness I feel heartbreak but I'm still going and yeah maybe it's easier said than done it doesn't matter because when my dad passed life went on and as sad as that sounds as as, as horrible and as that sounds as if like you're forgetting about the person you're not you're not forgetting you're moving forward for them with them you know they're always going to be there they're always going to be your guardian angel that's the way i look at things um and it's not easy i don't know if i'm even going to get to say everything i want to because I, I i my mind is my mind is just everywhere and like i don't know i'm nervous for whenever we're going to have to say our last goodbyes to my tia because that is my dad's sister and she was there when my dad was sick, she was here, she was helping her and her husband and just her, you know, her family. I don't know, it's just hard, it's tough, and I don't like making sad, sappy, horrible videos like this, I don't, but I know that so many of you can benefit from seeing me going through something and being able to push through no matter how hard it may get, no matter how sad the story is, no matter how torn up the story is. If I can get through, I know that you can get through, and I'm nervous as hell to go to this funeral because it's going to be so close to how it was with my dad because it's all of his family and the last time we were all together in a sad situation like this was when my father passed away so I know that it's going to bring back so many memories but I know that at the end of it all we all have to support each other we all have to move forward because life goes on and we can't just stay in the same spot because we know in our hearts that the loved ones that have now moved on and have left this earth would want us to continue to go, to live. And one thing that makes me feel a lot better that my best friend actually told me recently was that once they're no longer here on earth, they no longer feel anything other than happiness and love and every positive thing there is, every positive feeling, everything, they can only feel that. So true or not, I believe it's true. You get to believe whatever you'd like. It helps me sleep at night. It calms me down whenever I think about stuff like this. And I know that I'm a strong individual. I know that. I've seen it. I've proven it many times. And I don't know if it's I get it from my dad or I get it from myself or the situations or what I've built by myself. I get it from my dad or both or a mixture of everything. But I'm, I'm fortunate that I do have that strength and I'm thankful for that strength because I think that with my strength I can have the ability to help others see that you can do it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense. I don't know if I'm even creating complete sentences here. I just want you guys to know that life is going to get tough. Life is going to get hard. It's going to get difficult. You're going to hurt many, many times for many different reasons, but you can't let that stop you from living your life. You can't let that stop you from moving forward, for, from growing strong. We have to grow strong. We have to know that these things are going to happen, and when they happen, we have to react. It's all in how we deal with it. We have to figure out how to deal with it, how we're going to deal with it. And um, everybody's going to have their own different way of dealing with it. Everybody's going to cope differently for various things. Uh, but I just figured that if I'm sitting here right now and I'm talking to you and I'm telling you that, that I'm experiencing a loss right now and I'm, I'm going to experience something and I don't know by the time that this is out if I will have already been at the viewing or gone to the funeral or what it is, I don't know. But I'm sitting here right now in front of you expressing my fears, my my sadness and um but also expressing my strengths and, and and confirming that you can do it you know it's gonna hurt the more that you go through pain maybe it won't be easier to deal with certain things certain things it may be but for, with death maybe it won't be easier but at least you know i don't know there's there may be a part of you that knows what's next and life has so many ups and it has so many downs and life's unfair that's one thing that's for sure and all in all i just wanted to come on here and i wanted to let you guys know that i'm going through something you're going through something and together we can make it through together we're going to make it through and i just want you to know that no matter what happens in life you will get through and you can get through and it's possible to get through even if it seems like it's not even if it's hard as heck you can you can push yourself through you can pull yourself through you can push yourself and pull others through at the same time you never know what your strengths can do for other people you know 
I'm here because of that. Because so many of you have written to me and said, you know, it's because of you. It's because of your stories. It's because of what you say. It's because of your videos that you have helped me. I can imagine that my stories can help because I know that stories of others, and even some of yours, have helped me and have helped given me strength and helped me grow as a person. You never really know the impact until you get messages in your inbox saying that. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so grateful for that. I'm, I'm so happy and I'm so touched by every single one of those messages. And for that, I want to say thank you to you guys. And through the hard times in my life, you guys have also helped me through and you've reminded me that I can. So I'm here reminding you for whatever it may be, whatever kind of loss, big or small, I'm your reminder that you can get through it and that you will get through it. And once you're past this, you're going to look back and you're gonna say, wow, you know, I remember when I was going through that, look at me now. But before I go, and I'm so I'm so sorry this was so sad again once more, I know that I shouldn't apologize because I told you guys to not apologize for, you know, feeling the way you feel, but I do apologize if this wasn't the kind of video that you were expecting for today, but I know this is a serious matter and it's something very important, it's something that we should talk about at least once, but you've gotta be prepared for the worst sometimes, and you know, sometimes the worst is gonna not come knocking at your door like it did for me, like it has many times now. But I'm gonna get through it. You guys are gonna get through this. I have faith and I have hope that we will. And I know that we will because we've already survived many, many tragedies in our lives. So this one and the ones to come are nothing that we can't handle. I'm not saying that we're gonna brush it off or anything of the sort. I'm just, you know, just a reminder that we can do it. You know, I'm, I'm living proof that you can get through it. And that's what I want you guys to take from this. To, I just want to touch base on one last thing. We all cope differently. I know I already mentioned that, but some of us can express our emotions right away and we can cry and we can hide or sleep or be depressed or whatever it may be, but don't ever let anybody tell you anything if you cope differently. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we think that the only way to see if somebody's actually suffering is if seeing them bawling their eyes out. And that's not how everybody deals with every situation. Don't feel terrible if somebody tells you, hey, you know, well, you don't look sad or, well, you're taking it very well because at the end of the day, you may smile, you may you may crack jokes, you may do this, you may do that. Obviously, there's a time and place for that, but just because you're smiling, just because you're on the grind, you're doing what you have to do to get ahead in life, to continue in your own life, it does not mean that you are not suffering. Just because you see me smiling, just because you see me being funny or, or expressing my humor or whatnot, it does not mean that I don't have my downs. It does not mean that I'm not sad right here inside of my heart. It does not mean that I'm not heartbroken over the tragedies in life. It just means that I'm pushing through and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm moving forward in life. And uh, it doesn't mean that I've forgotten anybody who has passed my loved ones, no. My losses, no. It just means that I am growing stronger as the days go by. And this too shall pass. I'm gonna head out. Uh, you know, rest in peace to both of my favorite aunts. It's crazy to know that they're no longer here. But that's life. And uh, sooner or later, we all have to leave this earth. So, thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, I hope that you all... Hug your loved ones, and yeah, if, if you know this hit home for you or whatever it may be, please show that like button, a little bit of romance. If you're not subscribed, please do me a favor and give that subscribe button a little love tap. And please, please, please don't forget to show all of my social medias a little bit of affection with the follow. And if there's one thing I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs, the lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good. Be grateful and stay humble because life is so short. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. I feel like I bit into foam. Not that I have before. Yes, I have. I sunk my teeth into it. And then it like melts. Interesting.